something that I've been messing with for the last couple weeks is uh, when I'm making knives or something like that is to do these uh, etched in logos on them. And to do that, I came up with a sort of homebrew electro etcher based on several different people online have made similar things. But I wanted to do it fairly cheap and easy and stuff I had laying around. The only thing that most people probably don't have laying around the house is I have a vinyl cutter, so I was able to cut out my little logos with that. Uh, but somebody with an X-Acto knife and some electrician's tape could probably come up with something that works similar. You could also just use uh, paint or nail polish or something like that and scratch away what you want to etch. So you just have the metal covered except leave it exposed where you want it to etch away. And for doing that, I'm going to take this knife that I did a while back and we're going to try and etch a logo on this today. See how it works out. First step is really taking and cleaning the blade up. You do not want any oils or grease or anything like that that'll interfere with the um, the ability of electricity to travel through. You don't want any wax or oil on there because you want the electrolyte to come into contact with the metal. And also we need to make sure our vinyl is going to actually stick to it. So I just took some denatured alcohol and cleaned it off real quick. Uh, you could use just about anything. Soap and water would even work just fine. And I'll just use a bit of masking tape to apply my vinyl logo here. that on there. Now for my etcher. This is another thing a lot of people have just one laying around their house. I got this out of, I had some stuff ready to be recycled pretty much. And it's a, a DC converter. This one came off of, I think it was a modem or a router. And this one is, um, it always has a little tag on here that says what its output and um, what input and output of electricity is. And this one outputs 12 volts at one and a half amps, which should be plenty. Uh, they come in a lot of different voltages. You can find 5 volt, 6 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt. The higher the voltage, the more likely it'll zap you. Lower voltage will work just fine. Um, I grabbed this one because it was 12 volts is fairly safe, and one and a half amps is enough amperage that it should work pretty quickly. The less amperage you have, the longer this is going to take. And for the electrolyte, I just have salt water. Table salt, tap water, nothing special. Anyway, we'll go ahead and plug this in. I've got the... Uh, I used a multimeter to find which one was the positive and which one was the negative. Because that is important. Um, because we want our positive to be on the blade. And in chemistry terms, that's going to be our anode. And our negative is going to be our cathode. And our negative is going to be what actually will be clipped in and used to etch. And we'll just take a cotton swab and our salt water and clip it to that negative lead. And it helps to have a bit of a puddle. And you'll actually hear a sizzling noise. The liquid will turn dark. That's actually iron being pulled off of the, the blade. And it'll dissolve away some of the metal. It's, um, the anode dissolution is what's going on, which means that I'm actually dissolving part of the blade and then it's going to the cathode. And you'll see that my uh, Q-tip here, my cotton swab, is starting to get dark. That's actually iron that it's picking up. 
Now, this mess, clean it up a little bit. That'll be etched into the steel. I don't know how deeply just yet, but I think I think we got a good etch on that one. See that etched that logo in there? Didn't come out quite as good as I wanted, but it's a nice deep etch, so it's gonna always be there. Anyway, that's a quick little bit about how to make an electro etcher from trash, pretty much. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful or entertaining, please consider hitting that like button. And maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you haven't decided yet, there's always watching another video from this channel, and any one of the above will help this channel grow. And thank you for watching.